Nieka, kde ste mohli každý rok. I, I never leave and, and Butch, you know, because Butch is one of my assistant coaches. My clipboard is always within 10 meters of me or 5 meters of me. Clipboard with information on it. Ten môj poznámkový blog alebo tie dosky sú vždycky 10-15 metrov od mňa. Proste ja sa nevyberám. And coach is something else. Do not write your practice plans. Have your practice plans prepared before you hit the field. Uh, maj, nepíšte svoj tréningový program na to ihrisku. Majte pripravené ten tréningový plán, čo tam chcete robiť skôr, ako sa dostanete na to ihrisko. I've seen so many sometimes coaches uh, their teams are stretching and warming up and the coaches are writing their plans down on, on note cards. Guys, not good. Hey, videl som veľa coachov, ktorí píšu tie poznámky počas toho času, keď ich tým sa rozbeha, rozstrečuje. Uh, nie je to dobré. Toto nie je ako You know, I, I didn't write it on here, but uh, I should have, and I forgot. But so often we are responsible for our fields, right, Ronnie? Who takes care of your fields? It should not be you, the coach. Yes, it is the coach, but the players all have responsibilities in taking care of the field. And that's why baseball is such a difficult sport. Uh, kto sa stará o vaše ihrisko? Nemali by ste to byť vy. Vlastne teda ste to vy samozrejme zodpovední, ale vaši hráči mali mať rozdelené úlohy a mali by tú robotu vykonávať oni. Aj to je jeden z dôvodov, prečo baseball je taký náročný šport. You know, you think about it. Uh, basketball, what do you do? You, you sweep the floor and you roll the basketball down. Uh, rozmýšľajte o tom, čo proste sa robí na, na basketbale, hej? tam nerobia nič maximálne možno útru podľahu a, a odkotúľajú tie basketbalové ty preč, to je všetko. Uh, football, we, you, you, uh, you have, what do you do? You, you cut the grass, that's it. Čo robíte na futbalu? V podstate trávu, to je všetko. But in baseball it's very important, we have specific things to do uh, around home plate and make sure the dirt is, is right, the pitcher's mound is very, very important, no holes. V bejsbole sa musíme starať o tie špecifické priestory, ako o domáce mety, aby tam tá antuka bola pekne utlapkaná, rovná, aby na kopci neboli žiadne jamy a podobne. And I know coaches and players, and I always feel this way about my own field. I take much pride in my field and how it works. That's very, very important. A ja viem, že ja ako trener aj naši hráči, ale ja sme tam takisto, sme sme píšli na to, ako to naše ihrisko vyzerá. Hej. Staráme sa len hlava, sme nám hrdí pady. OK. Um, with that in mind, let's, let's get started with a typical practice. You know, what are we doing in practice? Ale teraz poďme späť tomu, čo robíme to typickom tréningu. Of course, every practice has to be given with a warm-up. So give us a warm-up. A samozrejme, každý tréning musí začať nejakým zahriatím sa, nejakým spôsobom zahriatím sa. And I guess I should say this too, if some of the guys Uh, are a little late for practice, which, yes, they sleep in, like we, we experience a lot, uh, then they have to answer to me, and they will probably be doing some extra work after practice. Čo týka tých hráčov, ktorí prídu neskôr na tréning a sladky sa vždycky najdu, tí sa najprv, ako sa s nimi porozprávam, a potom po ukončení tréningu dostanú nejakú proste extra robotu na výšle. And coaches, I think, you know, we have to send a message to our players to make sure that they understand what our policies are. And most importantly, if you have a policy, that you enforce it. Hey, uh, je coach, je veľmi dôležité, aby ste dali najavo uh, svojim hráčom, aká je vaša politika, proste čo im budete vyžadovať, prečo a ako. A je hrozne dôležité, aby tí hráči aj vedeli. Uh, a je hrozne dôležité, aby ste tu dodržiavanie tých pravidel potom aj uh, vynúcovať. You know, I may, depending on my mood, what kind of a mood I am in, or good or a bad mood, but I may have extra running for my players if they're late for practice, or they may have duty on the field. Hey, uh, mne je podstatné to, čo si o vás budú vytráčiť mysleť, či si to bude alebo zvetrianým, proste je treba akým neskoro, aby, aby, si to, aby si to nejakým spôsobom odpracovali, hej, či už potom po konci tréningu behať, alebo či budú to ísť po úpravu, alebo niečo potom. OK. A little bit about the warm-up. And I know, when I, I saw the uh, 
the Rocky teams, uh, the national teams. We played them the last few years, and I was impressed with their organization. Niečo, niečo o tom, ako sa uh, zahrieva, hej. Um, videl som hrať uh, slovenský národný tým a bol som mimo prekvapený tým, ako dobre to bolo organizované. Coaches, I think it's important, to, and I know I, I struggled with this with the national team with Croatia. I'm not with them all year long, but I think it's important that the coaches are nearby or a part of the warm-up, so they make sure that there is an actual warm-up going on. A kauči je veľmi dôležité to, aby keď uh, sa bude robiť to rozhrievanie sa, rozkličovanie sa, aby ste boli pri tom, aby ste boli niekde tesne pri tom, alebo priamo v tom uprostred toho diania. Je dôležité, aby ste tam proste boli. Sometimes players like to do their own thing. They like to stretch on their own and so forth. Veľakrát hráči uh, to robia sami podľa seba, proste robia tie veci, ktoré sa im páčia, ktoré oni but it's important that that warm-up session does not turn into a bullshit session. Now, after we stretch and we're ready to go, I may run them through some plyometrics. And then after that we get into our throwing. And our throwing will include a progression of throwing, and, and by progression I mean we're doing specific things. We may do wrist flicks. Hey, uh, potom, ako sme to spravili, uh, ideme pracovať na svojom hádzaní. To, čo myslím pracovať na svojom hádzaní, je to, že robíme niektoré špecifické veci, ako napríklad hádzanie len tým predlaktím. Even with the older guys I will do this. Not every day. Aj s tými staršími hráčmi to budem robiť. Nie každý deň. But with the younger players I will do this every day. Wrist flicks, and then we have arm action. Ale s tými mladšími hráčmi budem robiť každý jeden deň. Najprv to zápestie, potom tá akcia ruky. And then I will get them into a stride, a landing position. Potom dám do, do tej set pozície setu, hej, to počne na postavenie a hádžujem z toho. And we start with the ball and the glove. Začneme s rukavou, s loptou v rukavici. Then we separate. Potom to rozdelíme. And get into a good throwing position. Dostaneme sa do dobrej hádzej pozície. With the elbow up, fingers to the sky. A s laktou hore a prstami v oblohe. And then release and just pivot. A potom hádžeme a len vytočíme. So we're not picking up, we're just feeling the hips turn at the release of the baseball. Now, something I do with my younger players, and I did this with my high school guys, which are many of your age, uh, 18, 17. And I think Don may do the same thing. I do not let them talk. Don, you do that at all? Yeah. Same thing. Because, and, and we all know this, and I think we all agree, the coaches, this, this throwing session of 10 to 15 minutes is probably the most important part of your practice. Because I do not let them talk, because I think it is Don, and I think it is Don, že toto je asi tá najdôležitejšia časť toho tréningu. My nie sme profesionáli, my nie sme žiadne superviezdy. Chcem, chcem, aby moji hráči uh, boli koncentrovaní, aby mysleli na to, čo robia na tom uh, tréningu. Je dôležité, aby sa sústredili na to, čo robia práve v tomto, v tomto prípade, v tomto čase. Potom, ako sme to robili z toho bočného postavenia bez tých mož, ideme to robiť s tým krok. When they get their arms loose, ako náhle si rozličuje tie ruky, I will extend them out 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters. But I also always want my players, coaches, this is very important, so they focus better, is to work on targets. Always give your partner a target to throw at. Je dobré, keď ten, čo chytá tú loptu, dáva tým hráčom nejaký cieľ. V tom prípade tí hráči sa viacej sústredia na to. Je na to chytanie, je na to hádzanie. Je dobré, keď majú nejaký cieľ. Then when you get out to 
maybe 40 meters, 35, 40, 50 meters. Podľa keď to znam tých 40 metrov, tých sa späť, možno 50 metrov. Make sure your players are involving a, a step, what we call a crow hop. A ubezpečte sa o tom, že vaši hráči robia krok, ktorý my voláme ten crow hop. Step hop and crow. It's important that they learn that they understand the importance of their legs and they feel the legs doing the work for them. Je dôležité, aby, aby rozumeli tomu a aby cítili to, ako tie nohy pri tom pracujú. Aby dostali ten pocit, čo robí. And usually after that I will bring them close together and we will work uh, maybe a quick hands drill. A potom ich stiahnem uh, bližšie k sebe a budeme pracovať povedzme na tom drille tých rýchlych rúk. You can do that with or without gloves, guys. Môžete to robiť rukavicami bez rukavic. Okay. So how much do we throw? How long do we throw? A ako veľa to hádžeme? Ako ako dlho hádžeme? You know, I I'm not one to think that you have to throw for 30 minutes. I you don't. A uh, nemyslím, že musíte hádzať uh, pol hodinu, nemusíte. 10-15 uh, minút by teoreticky mohlo stať. But what is important to remember is when your guys are throwing now, not, not maybe the first 10 or 15 throw, but when they get warmed up is to throw the ball hard. Hey, ale to, čo si musíte uvedomovať je, že potom, jak, uh, jak hádžete, nie, nie tých prvých 10-15 hodov, ale ak si trošku rozhážete, Treba, aby ste tým naozaj hádzali na plot. Especially you coaches of, of younger players, the cadets, uh, maybe even the juniors too, they have a tendency to throw too softly. Hey, uh, mladí hráči, zrejme kadeti, ale možno aj juniori majú tendenciu hádzať príliš pomaly, len tak vlažne. You know, think of it like this. If you walk into a weight room and you're, you're lifting weights and you're, you're pretty strong, but ak idete povedať do posilovne, idete dvíhať činky a ste fakt silný. Do you want to be working with, you know, 15-20 kilos? Budete cvičiť s 15-20 kilo? Uh, you know, now you're on a bench press and, and you're strong and you want to work with maybe, I don't know, 50 kilos. A ste na lavičke, ste na lavičke a chcete proste tlačiť naozaj. The same, the same thing with throwing. And I tell my kids, throw the ball, my young kids, I coach, uh, My, my youngest boy is, uh, will be 14, so they're 13 or 14 years old. <laughs> When we throw, I can say a joke. Yeah. Okay, I tell them, throw, throw 50 miles an hour. And I want to hear the glove going, pop, pop, I want to hear the ball hitting the ground. So, now we are finished with our throwing. Tak, teraz sme skončili svoje hádzanie. What I will do probably every day is my intention will be to do one probably one team defensive drill per day. <coughs> to čo budeme robiť ďalej, uh, zameriam sa na to, aby som uh, na každom tréningu urobil zaraďu jeden uh, tímový tímo, jeden drill na tímovú obranu, zameriam na tímovú obranu. Now, we will probably do some individual defense also. Budeme robiť pravdepodobne aj nejaké individuálne tréningy obrany. And I know Pete has talked about a lot of the drills, the individual and team drills. The ones he has not talked about, I will put up here and we will, we will discuss them briefly. A Pete rozprával, bude ešte rozprávať o množstve takýchto individuálnych aj kolektívnych drillov, tímových drillov a kde rozprával, môžeme to povedať na tú zdávu a môžeme sa to porozprávať. Okay, but first, the individual drills, when you do individual defense, you should be capable of, of trusting your players to be able to work one-on-one -on -one drills, and they should know what is what you're expecting them to do. Že sú schopní uh, to robiť poriadne aj v dvojiciach a oni naopak mali zase rozumieť uh, tomu, čo robia a prečo to robia, tak aby to robili poriadne v dvojiciach. How many of you coaches are by yourself, are alone? How many of you coaches do not have assistant coaches? Koľký z vás kaučí ste kaučí sami, že nemáte asistenta, že proste musíte sa ten tým starať sami. Yeah. And I know the situation is very difficult if you are by yourself, because the baseball field is, is, is quite large. Basketball court is smaller. Ja viem, že, že je to veľmi ťažké, pretože uh, baseball hejdisko je fakt dosť veľké. Taký basketbalové je, je to strávne, je to maličké. Number one, you have to be probably 
as good a teacher as anybody, but you also must be very organized and know where your players, what they're doing at every moment. Hey, uh, na jednej strane musíte byť dobrým učiteľom a na druhej strane musíte byť dobrým organizátorom, pretože musíte vedieť, čo tí vaši hráči majú kde robiť a čo robia a či to robia, proste musíte ich mať pod kontrolou. OK. Uh, let's talk about some team defensive things. Have we talked about rundown speed? No, uh, budeme hovoriť o nejakých tímových obraných uh, drilloch. Okay. Drill, if we are doing rundowns, what I will do is... Ak trénujeme rundown, čo budem... We will work in infield. And what we'll try to do is pitchers pickoffs, and then we will work a rundown off of that pickoff. Hey, že nahadzovač vodi pickoff, a my pracujeme na tom rundown z toho pickoffu. So these are some options that you can think about here. To sú nejaké možnosti, o ktorých môžete rozmýšľať. Put your pitchers in foul territory. Dajte svoje nahozovať a tam, kde ukazuje o tom foul teritoria. And then, put two out here. A dvoj dajte na kode. Alebo teda niekde tam, kde nájde. Probably on the bottom of the hill. A pravdepodobne na petu kopca. Or they can work. One of them can work out the bottom. That's fine. Alebo jeden z nich proste môže byť kúde náme, že to sa dá. Your first baseman. Your second baseman. Your short stop. And that's okay. That's all you need for this drill. And then your runners. Okay. Now, well, we better work at third base because. Okay. 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 Okay.
communication. Your catcher giving the signal to your infielders. Now, you, you give your sign to the catcher. From the dugout. And the catcher has to establish time, uh, time out. And he, he gives his, his physical signs. Takže takto, vy ten signál môžete dať svojmu catcherovi z dugoutu, hej, a ten catcher sa postaví, zoberie timeout a dá ten signál svojim ostatným hráčom zelenú polu. Now, even at the higher levels, I have to remind my catcher, but if there's a runner on first base and nobody out, we have to put a bunt defensive sign on. A veľmi často aj na vyššej úrovni to musím svojim hráčom pripomínať, ale keď máme bez sa na každej nejde nič žiadny out, proste je to automatické, ideme brániť druhého. Okay. Now, obviously with, with one out or two outs, we don't think, we don't assume they're bunting, but we will assume they are going to bunt with no outs. Like all of these drills, bunt defenses, run downs, outside perimeter, Try to keep your drills maybe 15-20 minutes. And I know, God, and you've been through this many times, that we get frustrated because things are not going the way we think they should be going. But I found over the years that even if I am, I am angry, just shut the drill down and move on to something else because it does no good to get angry and spend two hours on something until you get it right. Just stop it and do it the next day. So if the ball goes to the left side, 
how do you run your cuts with a ball down each line? There's different different theories there. So I'm not going to do that. We're not going to do that situation, because we might have a situation where the ball is on the other side. Every measure is different. There's a lot of different theories about how the ball is on the other side, and how the ball is on the other side. But I will say this. But I will say this. 2001 World Series. No, no, 2001 um, playoffs. Uh, playoffs, Betis in the end. Oakland and the Yankees. Uh, Oakland and Yankees. Did, you, did anybody see the play where Jeter? Ron, you saw the play. It was, it was an amazing play. Jeter spread on Yaku, Yaku, never very tell no group. The ball was hit down the right field line. Uh, the ball was hit down the right field line. And in Yankee Stadium, you know, the right field line is very, very close. Three. What, just about 105 uh, meters. Not even that. Less than that. 99 meters. To právě pole, jako víte, na bejžulovým výsku je velmi krátké. Někdy možná pohle 90 metrů. So the ball went down the line, and the second baseman went over as the cut, and here the first baseman was the trailer. Čiže lov to bylo odpálená sem, druhou metr vyšel ten katov, a prvou metr byl ten, co následoval toho bečka. How many saw this play? How many saw this play? Good. Okay, now. So you know what happened. Takže vedieš, čo stalo. The right fielder had such a strong throw, that he overthrew both cutoff men. Že prehodil obi dvoch cutoff men. Now, Derek Jeter is probably, I don't know, 16 to 18 meters away in here. Derek Jeter bol, ako spojka, bol niekde tu na, v tomto priestore, bol 6 a 18 metrov odtiaľ. He has such a presence of mind, and his, his, his head is into the game so well that he saw the ball overthrown, and he got all the way to here. And he didn't practice this because we always assume that our outfielder is going to hit one of the two cutoff men. My to, toto nikdy netrénujeme, proste my očakávame, že na odpredze sa mu podarí trafiť aspoň jedného z tých dvoch kateľov. Derek Jeter hustled all the way over here and caught the ball. On vyšprýtoval tam tým smerom, vyšiel tú loptu. Was it on the fly or a bounce? I can't remember. Was it on the bounce? Was it on the bounce, Martin? Yeah, okay. He catches it and then he turns and backhands the ball to his catcher. About, you know, 20 feet. Hej, vyšiel tú loptu odrazenú od zeme a hodili ju backhandom catcherovi, kúsok, možno 6 metrov. Jorge Posada? Jorge Posada catches the ball and tags out Jason Chalmy. A catcher vidil tú loptu a tečoval bežca, ktorý bol na meta, keď ten loptu bol opálený a tečoval ho a vyhal tú loptu. If Jeter does not make that play, there's probably a good chance that that they don't get into the World Series. Ak by Jeter nestravil, tak spôjčiat nestravil tú hru, tak je veľká šanca, že sa nedostanú. Is that 2000 or 2001? Okay, what's it? The Diamondbacks beat them anyway, right? Yeah. Right, exactly. But my point is this. Derek Jeter, just unbelievable hustle on that play. To, čo chcem povedať, je, ako neuveriteľné Derek Jeter na to vyštartoval. Uvedomte si, jak na to musel mysleť, aký je dobrý v tej hlave. Ale je tu jedna vec, stavil by som sa, že väčšina z vás si to na tej hre nevšimla. A je tu jedna vec, ktorú si väčšina z nás nevšimla, aj keď si myslím, že niektorí z vás, ktorí tej hre naozaj dnes si možno všimli. Je tu jedna vec, čo hráči a oplendu v tejto situácii mohli urobiť. A I told you that Jason Giambi was tagged out. Povedal som bol, že ten, čo spadal na tú domácu metu, bol vyautovaný tečovaný. By the catcher. Jason Giambi would probably have been safe if he had slid at home. But he went in standing up. 
Now, what am I getting? Where am I going with this? What am I getting to? Ten, 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 Jedinou úlohou, ktorú má okrem toho, ako pripraviť sa na palku, je to, že ukazuje bežte na doma, ako môže žena slajdovať, alebo že môže ísť dvore. Now, there were TV analysts, newspaper articles written about this play, but I never heard, even Dave Campbell on ESPN, even Soup didn't talk about this, I don't think. Hej, bolo veľa analýzy, analýz tejto situácie, či už televízie, alebo v novinách, rozoberali to zo všetkých strán, ale nikde som nepočul. But I never heard or saw anybody talking about what the on-deck hitter did not do, and that's telling that runner to get down, get down. Ale, ale nikdy som nepočul, že by niekto z nich si všimol a venoval pozornosť tomu, že ten ďalší palka, ktorý sa pripravoval na palku, mohol tejto hre pomôcť a mohol mu sa navizovať, aby šiel do, aby šiel do. If that on-deck hitter had helped that runner, Jason Giambi, and tell him to slide in that situation, ak by ten palka pomohol, uh, kričal mu, signalizoval mu, slide, 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 asi by to bol sať. Okay. So, a little bit extra there, but these little things, if you watch the game of baseball, there's so many little things that you can pick up that will make you a better baseball player. Tieto malé veci, to sú také malé veci, ktoré, keď zadujete ten zápas poriadne, si môžete všimnúť a vďaka tomu sa stanete lepšími, lepšími hráčmi. All right. We talked about first and third situations yesterday. Hovorili sme včera o situácii prvá, tretia meta obsadená. This is another team defensive thing that you should probably need to work on early in the season and, and review from time to time. As you see the list here, I would probably do one of these things every day during the preseason. Now, as I understand your preseason, it's about three or four weeks. A pretože rozumiem, že vaša predstavná príprava trvá tak približne 3-4 týždne. During the month of March, I guess, when you start playing, then when you start playing, do you, do you practice every day or just a few days a week? A jak to vyzerá, keď začnete hrať? Trénujete každý deň alebo trénujete povedzme dva dny v týždni? See, when we are involved in our season in, in America, high school and college seasons, we are going six days a week. Uh, takže keď uh, my nám začína sezóna v Amerike, tak my trénujeme, respektíve sme na jedisku 6 dní do týždňa. 5 minimálne. Most of the states do not allow us to practice with our, our players on Sundays. Hey, väčšina, väčšina štátov nám nedovolí uh, trénovať našimi, pracovať s našimi hráčmi v nedelu. But I also know that uh, most of us, and I know how Don is, and Don knows how I am, if they allowed us to work with our players 7 days a week, we would. Ale ja viem, aký je Dan a aký som ja. Ak by nám dovolili uh, s nimi trénovať 7 dní do týždňa, my by sme to určite robili. Sometimes our wives forget our identity. Niekedy uh, naše ženy zabudajú na nás, čo sme na ten nepočítali. OK. Now, two very important points, and I'm going to have Pete come up here. Right here on the bottom. When doing individual position work. Dve dôležité veci, ktoré ešte prejdeme. Keď robíte, keď pracujete individuálny na tých činnostiach jednotlivcov. If you are the only coach. Ak ste jediný, jediný tréner. You have to make sure that you have some good veteran players that you can trust to run the other individual drills. Hej, treba, aby ste mali nejakých hráčov, ktorým môžete dôverovať, že tie ostatné skupiny, ktoré budú pracovať na tých individuálnych činnostiach, že to tam bude fungovať. Coaches, you have to trust them, but you also have to be very precise with them and tell them exactly what drills you want them to do. A kauči, musíte im dôverovať, ale na druhej strane musíte byť veľmi presný a musíte im vysvetliť presne, čo od nich vlastne chcete, aby robili, aby to boli vôbec skupiny. So, for instance, if I'm by myself, and I am a lot with my younger guys, Takže napríklad, ak budem zo najvyššku sám a budem tam s tými svojimi mladšími hráčmi, I personally will go out and I will supervise the catcher workouts, the pitcher workouts, and the infielder workouts. 
že budem tam a budem dozerať na to, ako keď si pracujú, ako na hádzu vaši pracujú, ako im to pracujú. The catchers will have their gear on and they will be working on individual drills on the grass. Kečni budú tu na stáť a budú pracovať na svojich individuálnych činnosti a nie je tam nájdaj na tej tráve. The pitchers may be working what we call PFPs and bunts. A kečni budú robiť to, na čo my voláme PFP a ujevky. And they can also be working on their first base coverage, which is what we call bananas. A budú pracovať na tom zbehu na prvom metu, čo voláme bananovi na pečo. And the infielders can be working on numerous things like double play pivots. Ah, infielders can also work on many things like double play pivots. Ah, infielders can also work on many things like double play pivots. Ah, infielders can also work on many things like double play pivots. Ah, infielders can also work on maybe 20 meters of, of your players, so you can supervise what is going on there. A stále sa môžete pohybovať niekde okolo tých 20 metrov od tých svojich hráčov a teda stále im môžete nejakým spôsobom dozerať. And, and what I would usually do is, is trust one of my veteran players to work with the outfit, a, a, a good outfitter to work with the other outfitters and they're working on their drills, the sun drills, the in-between drills. A to, čo väčšinou robím, uh, dám dôveru nejakému svojmu staršiemu skúsenému hra outfielderovi, ktorý ide s tými outfielderami a oni pracujú potom tam sami niekde po zadnom poľu. Guys, I was an outfielder. Chlapci, ja som bol, býval outfielder. I never ever neglect my outfield. I always understand the importance of playing the outfield. A nikdy, nikdy nepodceňujem svojich outfielderov. Rozumiem tomu, prečo je dôležité s nimi pracovať poriadne s tými outfielderami. A prečo outfield je dôležité. Okay, now we we've just gone through practice, and I'm, well, I'm probably about 60 minutes to 80 minutes into the practice right now. And now we decide what type of offensive stations or what type of offense we're going to get that day. Hey, čiže prešli sme tréningom, ktorý sme na nahrávku trénovali po vysokých 60 do 60 minút defenzívne defenzívne činnosti. A teraz si povedzme o tom, aké ofenzívne činnosti budeme trénovať. Aké ofenzívne činnosti budeme trénovať. So from the defensive standpoint, you should be watching pitchers. 
Takže, takže z toho defenzívneho pohľadu by ste mali sledovať nahadzovačov. You should be watching the swing and identifying where the weakness is. Ako nahadzovači by mali sledovať tých balkárov a všímať si, akým spôsobom švíhajú, aby, aby vedeli. So during our batting practice, if you're on deck, Takže počas pálkacieho uh, tréningu, pokiaľ ste, pokiaľ pálite. Even with a batting practice coach. Takisto ako coach uh, na tom batting practice, ten čo hačite lopty. You should be working on your timing. Mali by ste pracovať na tom svojom časovaní. Many players just fool around and don't pay attention before they hit. Uh, mnohí z hráčov Proste keď sa ju chodia okolo, nevšimajú si to, až pokiaľ sa nedostanú na samotnú pálku, že idú pálu. Treba sa na to pripravovať, časovať sa už predtým, keď ešte len sa pripravujete, že pôjdete pálu. OK, now you're going to have four, in your practice four to five groups, depending on the number of players that you have. Budeme mať na tom tréningu 4 až 5 skupín, čo závisí, ale čo vyplne z toho, koľko hráčov do toho výsku máte na tréningu máte. Which will give you four to five players in each group, six players, somewhere around there. Čo Chceme, aby v tej každej skupine boli 4 a 5, možno 6 hráči. One group will be hitting. Jedna skupina bude báliť. The cage. A v tom takomto polovičom otvorenom punovi, také klietke. One group will be in the infield. Jedna skupina bude v infielde. If they're outfielders in that particular group, you put them in the outfield. Ak sú tam nejakí outfieldery v tej skupine, tak ich postavíte do outfieldu. But they have a responsibility. Ale oni majú takisto nejakú úlohu. You hate to see outfielders that go, at, go after a baseball, after it drops and they, they walk to go get the ball to throw it in. A nenávidíte outfielderov, keď sa tam budú prechádzať a budú tie hoty iba chôdzov chodiť zvier. If you're fortunate, you have a screen here. Uh, ak uh, ste na tom dobre, viete ako, tak máte tam uh, ten štýr nejaký. With a bucket here. S kýblom tam. You'll have a batting cage here. Máte tu na tú otvorenú klietku. Your outfielders, they have to react to the hit. A vaši so, outfieldery majú reagovať na odpal. Wherever they're playing, <coughs> kdekoľvek hrajú, they anticipate where the pitch is, a musia očakávať, kam je nahodené. They watch the swing of the hitter. Musia sledovať ten švih pálkara. Most of the time that will determine where the ball is going to be hit. A väčšinou to samotné už rozhodne o tom, kam tá lopta odpávená bude. They may not catch every ball. Nemajú vidieť každú loptu. But you're working on your first four to five steps. Ale pracujete na prvých štyroch, piatich krokoch. That's how you become a better outfielder. Toto je to, ako sa môžete stať lepšími outfielderami. My grandmother that was 95 could catch the fly ball straight up in the air. Aj moja stará mama, keď mala 95, bola schopná chytiť loptu, ktorá bola odpálená priamo hore na zem. Outfielders need to work on the angles. A outfielders musia pracovať na tom, čo my hovoríme, uhlí, proste na tej strany. They need to work on line drives, which is one of the hardest ball to judge and to catch. A musia pracovať na line drive-och, čo je asi najťažšia lopta, ktorá sa dá rozpoznať a chytiť. And that's the best way to do it because it's the closest to a real game. A to je najlepší čas, kedy sa dá robiť, pretože je to najbližšie k tomu zápasu. Okay, so you have one group hitting. Takže máte jednu skupinu, ktorá pálí. One group in the field. Jednu skupinu v poli. You'll have another group. And I'll explain how that works. Máme ďalšiu skupinu, ja vysvetlím, ako to funguje. Base running. Base running. Okay, with helmets on. Samozrejme s helmami. And if you have another group, a keď máte ďalšiu skupinu and you have another cage, a máte ďalší uh, tunel alebo klietku, they could be working on bunny, môžu pracovať na ulievkách, they could be working on hitting, <coughs> môžu pracovať na pálení. If you don't have a cage, ak nemáte klietku, <coughs> you could use wiffle balls, môžete použiť wiffle bally. And one thing I failed to talk about last time in wiffle balls, a pamätáte, čo som hovoril včera o wiffle balloch? If somebody's on one knee throwing wiffle balls, a niekto stojí na kolene a hádže wiffle bally, you could throw it hard, Môžete to házať naplno. You can use the same motion and slow it down. Môžete použiť ten istý pohyb a spomaliť to. And work more game situations. A pracovať, zase pracovať viacej na tej situácii herne. So one hard and one slow. Okay? Nie je to prvnosť. Okay. Now, the hitters have a job to do. Pálkali majú takýto robotu. 
and the um, the hitters have a job to do, and the runners have a job to do. Now you're also going to give work to your infielders. You're going to have a player right here or a coach. And one here. This gentleman is hitting to the third baseman. Ground balls. And he's hitting ground balls to the second baseman. This gentleman is hitting ground balls to the first baseman. And he's hitting ground balls to the Obviously, you have to wait until the batting practice coach throws the baseball in and it's hit. Now, I don't like coaches, coaches hitting, ground, or hitting the ground balls here. Okay, with some exceptions, uh, sometimes coaches are players also. If they're a, if they're a player also, then they can hit. If they're a coach, I don't let them hit. Okay? Because coaches don't need batting practice. This is working on your hitting. I've seen players that can't throw the ball up and hit a ground ball. We don't have a lot of time to practice. So we have our guys do a couple things. One will stand there, toss it, and hit a ground ball. And to get a little bit of rhythm, because as I talked about before, not many players have rhythm. We have them. We have them step and then hit. So they, they step, toss, and hit. The more swings you can take, the better hitter you're going to be. Runner stays at first base. He just 
pretends he goes to second, but he stays there. Stále dostáva na prvé mete, len tam naznačí ten štart, ja keby išiel na druhé. Next four pitches. Ďalšie štyri nadhody. Every pitch they have to hit opposite field. A každý nadhod chceme odpáliť do opozitného pola. That forces your hands to stay in. A to nutí vaše ruky dostať pri tele. The real good major leaguers, uh, naozaj dobrí uh, hráči v major league, they work their way right field, right field line. Tej pracujú na tom, aby, aby pálili odpáli po prvom metu, čiare na prvom metu. Right field, do pravého pola. Right center, a do pravého stredu. And center, a do stredu. Okay, so they're working everything away. Pracujú na tom, aby to všetko išlo od nich preč. So we don't want them pulling the pitch. Nechcem, aby to zatehovalo. Okay? Yes. I need to ask one question. That's okay. Uh, what about the left hand? Left hand is going the other way also. Uh, yes, he's not a good question. Ron sa pýtala, čo lavaci. Lavaci je presne to isté, presne na opačnú stranu. Same thing, he's going left field line. Čiže idú do ľavého pola. I'm working his way. <coughs> a pracujú na tom, aby to zase išlo od nich preč, od tela preč. Hitters have to learn the reason we do that. A pálkarek sa musia naučiť dôle, prečo to robíme. They have to trust. Musia veriť. To let the ball get deeper in the zone. A že si môžu pustiť tú loptu hlbšie, hlbšie k sebe, dostrajek zóny. And hit the ball the other way. A odpáli tú loptu preč. The hitters we have, even at the professional level, they have a hard time hitting the ball the other way. Now the base runner is just taking a secondary lead and reading the ball. He's not going to second base yet. The next one is a hit, hit and run. A uh, ďalší odpál je jeden rán. Runner does his job, he takes off, looks, he still looks to make sure where the ball's hit. Hej, uh, Bezer zase tam je a pozerá sa, uh, uvispuje sa, či je tá opta odpálená. You're trying to hit the ball to the right side. Zase, opäť ako práva, ty sa snažíš odpáliť klub do pravej strany. Zabež sa. Now you have... Uh, a bude to odpáliť. Ne. I'm sorry. When the left hand is left hand the haters, uh, they also try to pull the ball behind the runners? Yeah, we try to move the ball here. All the time, behind the runners. Že tak isto je práva, ktorá je na vám, a dnes to je práva, ktorá je na vám, ktorá je na vám, ktorá je na vám, ktorá je na vám. Okay, now, runners on second base. Now, you're trying to get the...